everybody. So here we go with our site specific fascia tuning pegs. What I mean by that is that there are structures in the body, fascial structures in the human body. And sometimes these can become densified, they can become indurated, they can become hypertonic, which means that when you go to move, you feel a, a stiffness or a resistance that does not feel normal to you. It doesn't have to be necessarily painful, but it just tends to interfere with that smooth range of motion. So fascia needs to be able to glide, and the best way to encourage fascia to glide is through movement. However, I'm also going to talk to you about functional movement and omnidirectional movement, because the human body is non-linear omnidirectional. This is the living tensegrity or biotensegrity principle that too many people are wanting to go into the fitness centers and place their arms into preacher curls, isolate a body part and then move that body part as though it is separate from the rest of the body. And really we are omnidirectional creatures. So where would you think the true fulcrum our axis of the human body is? The answer, the feet. So we're going to start today with just a, a small feedback uh, exercise. We'll start from the floor, we'll go to kneeling and then from kneeling to standing. So let's start nice and gently. So what I want you to do is to sit on the floor, make yourself nice and comfortable and just make sure your breathing is nice and relaxed and we're going to begin to rotate side to side. So, from here, you can take your, your upper limbs, by the way, off your legs, and in a moment or two, we can use them for a little bit of momentum and inertia, if that's what you wish. But let's just start off gently rotating from one side to the other, and let's begin to mobilize now. So we're going to mobilize, which means that the speed will increase just slightly. We can use our upper limbs, as I say, for a little bit of momentum, creating a little bit of inertia. But we don't want to swing so much that we're going to go past our physiological range of motion. So we want to stay within physiological and anatomical range of motion. So just get a sense of where you might feel some stiffness, some resistance, some particular deceleration of motion. Okay, from here, let's just do lateral lines. You can place your hand on the floor, or you can place your hand across your knee, and then just simply introduce this range of motion. Okay, it's really nice, and reach. And when you feel that there is some deceleration or stiffness in the tissue, you can play with that. You can just tease, tease, ease it, and come back again. So this is a nice little warming up of the tissues. Of course, we're not really having a major increase in heart rate, but we are just teasing any tense or taut tissues on the lateral aspect of your body. Although, of course, it's, it's getting to everywhere. It's even getting right into the thoracic lumbar fascia. Let's do the opposite side. So here we go, nice and gently. Start off always gently and ease into that range of motion. You might feel that one ischial tuberosity wants to come up off the floor. I'd like you to keep both ischial tuberosities on the floor for just a moment and just get a sense of where you might feel any tensions or any stiffness. Let that breath out. That's lovely. Give that feedback to the system. Okay, we're now going to go from here to a kneeling position. So, from kneeling, we start again with rotation. You can take your knees apart a little bit if you wish. So let's just do the rotation. Again, I'm just using my hands and my upper limbs as a access to it. A bit of momentum, a bit of inertia. We can make them longer if you wish. That's really nice. So we're just rotating. Now I'm feeling a little bit stuck on my right side, which means I'm having difficulty going in this direction. And that makes sense because I was out for a run this morning and I went over on a stone and I felt it on this side, so, so that's really nice. Okay, let's just do lateral line. That's lovely. 
stopping. And just monitor your breath and your breathing. I'm going to do one more. There is no choreography here. It's not about five on one side and six on the other or whatever the case. It's just whatever feels good. We're just monitoring where we feel tightness, additional tension, and that's great. So one of the things that your fascia loves to do is that your fascia loves to increase its temperature. And when we increase the temperature, then we lower the thixotrophic nature of fascia, which basically means it's like oil. If you have oil that's warm, it will run faster. Oil that's cold is more viscous. Mm -hmm.